thanks for this. No worries. Have you eaten? I'm not really hungry. You should have some. It's going to be a long day. I'll grab something from Roy's later. Can't face a bowl of Sally's muesli. Well, is there anything that I can do? Just be there for me at court. Of course. You seem... zen. I can't change anything now, so there's no point in getting worked up. Still, I stood in front of a judge to give evidence, and even that was nerve-wracking enough. But what you're I about I'm to... just trying to keep busy. I'll think about that when it comes, OK? OK. Well, I've got some stuff to sort, but I'll be back before we need to go. Thanks. Right, well, I won't be long. Craig. Yeah. Right. All backed up. Hey. I've taken everything that I need off my computer. Not that there was much to begin with. She should be able to get about 100 quid for it. What are you talking about? I'm just take it to a second hand shop and sell it. I don't need it. I'm not selling you stuff, Faye. You're talking like you're never coming home. Well, it's old anyway. And by the time I get out in a year, it'll be totally out of date. You might as well just get some money for it while you still can. And my phone as well. I'm going to cancel my contract. No, I can't stand this. Hopefully the judge will see what Ray really is and go easy on you. We need to be realistic. <sighs> this is a nightmare. I can't believe I've let this happen. You didn't do anything wrong. You've been brilliant. You, your mum, Sally, Craig. I couldn't have got through this without you. You don't deserve any of this. Well, let's hope the judge agrees. Dress, Mrs. Barlow. <laughs> well, I only get to wear it once, don't I? Eh? Oh, husbandy one. Have you not been home? Well, you heard the vows, didn't you? It's not until hypotension doeth part, is it? Hypotension? Is that not what they said it was? And hypoglycemia. Yeah. Uh... The doctor will be round later. Um, I, I can't seem to. Find... Oh, this? <sighs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd lost it already. No, I took it off. I read somewhere that they cut them off, you know, if there's any swelling. Yeah? What well, was that likely? Well, I don't know, do I? I'm not taking any chances. You're not getting out of this marriage that easily, you know. <sighs> what am I going to do with this mop? He looks fine to me. Oh, really? It looks like... I don't know, I should be protesting the Vietnam War or something. Matt said it's, it's getting the trend today. Is this place any good? Oh, they're not doing hair just now. Just my pop-up shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, how's that going? Oh, really good. Thanks for putting me in touch with those suppliers. You're more than welcome. <laughs> if you want a haircut, there's a barber's around the corner. It's probably more your thing. Oh, yeah? Well, what would you know about my thing? Nothing. Now, oh, listen, a, a word of warning about those contacts I give you today. They might seem nice to start off with, but some of them are real sharks, so... Oh, you're the one who swims with them. Does that make you a shark, too? Me? Nah. No, I'm a pussycat. <sighs> but cats don't like water. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. Uh, metaphors aren't my strong suit. What is your strong suit? Why don't I tell you over lunch? Oh, I can't. Sorry. It's OK. Maybe another time, yeah? See you in a bit. Wow. National Grid's got nothing on you two. Sorry? The electricity. Why did you say no to lunch? He's not really my type. Have you seen him? He's everyone's type. <laughs> and you're not still hung up on Tyrone, are you? No, no. Well, then, you need to get back out there. What harm can lunch do? Why don't you text him, tell him you've changed your mind? Maybe. <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, I better get to work. Oh, I thought you were off today. Oh, I did until Jenny wrote me in to stop taking the cellar. Oh, I hate it. It's full of spiders. All day. For my sins. Right, see you later. Bye. Ty. Tyrone. Oh, I'm up. <laughs> yeah, you are now. Did not get much sleep. No, oh, sofa's lumpier than Nana's mash. Oh. 
Oh, we do need to rethink this. Well, it's time for a plan B. Plan B? What, you mean our bed? No, I meant the blow mattress. Oh, right. I don't know where that is. It's in the loft. Oh, well, can you help me get it down at dinner time then while the girls are at school? Dinner time? We've, we've got loads on. Can you get it? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's um, on top of that old suitcase. That okay. You'll see, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll cope on your own. Yeah. Big day, hey? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I wish you luck, but uh, I was hoping to be uh, Domino's again tonight. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish your eyesight hadn't improved. Oh, low blow. Seriously, though, mate, hope it goes well. Well, I'll be all right. It's just fair I'm worried about. Yeah, poor lass. Well, at least she'll have you by her side, eh? Mm. You heard from Maria? You know what? I'm just uh, thinking about calling her now, but not expecting much. Well, she's a good girl. She'll be there to support you. Good luck. You take care of yourself, yeah? I wrote her up last night. Your resignation letter? Yep. On your computer? No, I used my typewriter. You should have probably used a computer. Much easier. You can save to the cloud and stuff. Thanks. Anyway, I still haven't decided whether to hand it in or not. What does Faye think? She supports whatever decision I make. So don't quit. Well, it might not be up to me. It's hardly a good look, is it? A detective with a convicted criminal of a girlfriend. You can't give up your job. Yeah, well, a job isn't everything. Look, I drive a van and your mum stitches knickers. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're happy. But you, you've got brains. You can't waste them. I can do something else. What can he ask? Why are you applying to be a detective? Well, it just seemed like the right thing to do, career-wise. I'm sorry, mate, but I don't believe you. It's your dream, isn't it? Thought so. If you throw that away, you'll never forgive yourself. I can't just give up on Faye. It's either that or give up on yourself. Hey, thanks. Uh, do you need your receipt? Faye knows her. It's um, Gary's sentencing today, isn't it? So I hear. Perhaps uh, this isn't any of my business, but um, can I assume you'll be in attendance in court? Yeah, you're right. It is none of your business. I, I just thought you might want to lend him your support. You know, he, he is your husband. Where was this advice when your missus did a runner? Sorry, Brian, I shouldn't have said that. Just any mention of Gary at the moment and I go off on one. No, it's OK. No, it's not. I shouldn't have said it. I'm sorry. But it's true. Have you spoken to Cathy? No. Well, I'm sure she'll be back when she's ready. I hope so. It does seem she was right. We haven't had any vitriol directed towards the cabin since you left. Oh, that's good. Maybe now they've stopped, she'll be back home in no time. Anyway, sorry again. <laughs> Mommy's second cup of tea here. I promise you won't laugh. Oh, this house is a laughter-free zone. At least it is when Kev's telling jokes. Promise. I promise. Come on. What do you think? No photos. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm ringing Chester Zoo because I think a panda's escaped. No way. <laughs> Come back. Let's have a look. Hmm. Or maybe a raccoon. I'm washed now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, come back. I'm sorry. Oh, you look good. I knew you would. I don't, and you know I don't. Oh, it's all about confidence. You've got to own it. Yeah, but how can I do that when I know I'm pretending? I don't know how Nina does it. All right, well, you've given it a go, and it's not for you, and that's fine. Yeah, but I can't go to the gig my normal clothes. I'll stick out like a sore thumb. Right, were you wearing this when you and Nina arranged to go to this concert? Do you really think I'd look like this if you hadn't made me? No. So she knows what you normally wear and she still wants you to go. Because she likes you. It's not about this. But just try and remember that. Hiya. You doing anything with this? Uh, yeah, go on, I can fit you in quick. Cheers, thank you. What does it matter why? I just want to cancel my contract. No, I don't want more data. I'm not trying to get a better deal from you. 
fine. If you must know, I've won the lottery and I'm moving to the Bahamas. Is that good enough? Bye. You OK? Hi. Kirk, yeah, I'm fine. Really? I thought you'd be worried about being up in court later. Right. You know, for attacking Adam. Yeah, I get it, thanks. I was speaking to Craig earlier. Oh, yeah? He was saying you'll support him. I'll support him. But didn't he tell you about his job? The attachment with the CID? No, that is quitting the police. What? Why? He reckons he can't be a cop or and go out with you because of your criminal record. He never said anything. He's written his resignation letter and everything. I just hope you know what he's giving up for you. I'm sorry, it could be an emergency. Hello? No, I have not been in an accident, and this is not a very good time. Goodbye. I know they're not as bad as the ones in Australia, but they're still pretty scary. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm in the flat now, and it's like I can still hear them scuttling across the floor. <laughs> OK, Mum. Love you. What's going on? Oh, didn't expect to see you here. I thought you were working. Oh, I forgot my sandwich. <sighs> what are you doing home? And why aren't you dressed? Um, I, uh. O. M. G. Have you been for lunch with Lucas already? Well, I, um. And let me guess, now you're having dessert in your room? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, well, you move quick, I'll give you that. Hey, I'm just glad you're getting over time home. Yeah, I suppose I am. <laughs> right, well, well, I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Lucas! It's a long story. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got my sandwich again. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. You look nice. Are you ready to go? Sorry, Craig, but I don't want you to come. Are you joking? Of course I'm going to come. I think that we should split up. What am I going to say? Just ask her to keep this you and Lucas thing a secret. It cannot get back to him. I don't like lying. Well, you can tell her the truth once Fizz knows. She'll understand. And when are you going to tell Fizz? I'll tell her soon, I promise. Just not while I'm living there. It's not fair on the kids. Hey, once I get my own place, we can tell the world. I just want to be a normal couple. Yeah, me too. Soon, I promise. Just not right now, eh? I don't get where this is coming from. You wanted me to come to court earlier. I hadn't thought it through, but I have now. We've been through this before. This is different. What has changed? Nothing. Hang on, have you been speaking to Kirk? You told me that you're quitting the police. Well, at least shouldn't have. Is it true? I still haven't decided. But you might. I'm considering it. I can't let you do that. It's not up to you. It's bad enough that you was going to put everything on hold for me. Now you're going to throw away your life for me. You are my life. Oh, Craig. Look, my job means nothing compared to you. Look, you say that now, but what about when I'm in there and you're out here with your career gone? I won't care. You'll resent me. I love you. I love you too. And that's why I'm doing this, because it's what's best for you. I need to go to court. Please, just... don't do this. I'm sorry. You should go. Got a minute. Got a toasty on, but sure. You've been crying. What? No. Why would you say that? Your eyes are all red. Not like you've been rubbing them. Oh yeah, no. Um, yeah, that's hay fever. Yeah. Mm. Note to self: Don't buy said flowers. Look, I just wanted to say. Um, I think I'm going to give the gig a miss. Oh. I'm just not sure it's really my scene, Nina. And you've come to that realization. After you asked to come and after I bought your ticket. Yeah, OK, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll pay you back. Don't worry. I've got plenty of mates all back my hand off. Good. 
Won't be as much fun to share a hotel room with, though. Hotel room? Yeah. I mean, if it's not your scene. Look, I better get on. We've got a toasty burning back here. Oh, I'm sorry, OK? It's just... I just think I'm going to spend the whole night feeling out of place. Welcome to my world. <sighs> it was well suspicious, if you ask me. How is that suspicious? We're not listening. Some bloke stopped me on the street and he asked me for directions. Has it occurred to you he might have been lost? Nobody gets lost anymore. Everyone's got sat-nav on their phone. When's the last time someone asked you for directions? Oh, I don't recall. See? Suspicious. <whistles> One second. <whistles> Hello, cabin. <clears throat> Uh, now, look here. We've had enough of all this. I'm not a fool. I know when I've been tricked. Well, you know where you can stick it, and I hope it's pointy. More trolls again. Oh, some silly prank. Do you reckon? Rita's been nominated for some Golden Heart Award or some such nonsense. Are you sure it's not legit? They called her Rita Sullivan. They've obviously done some snooping and found information online. It's all out of date, though. That's out of order, dragging our reach into it. Just when I thought things were getting back to normal. How are you doing, kiddo? Better now you're here. Well, we'll get through this together, all right? Who's come with? My dad and Sally. It was, um... Maria out there? I didn't see her, sorry. No, that's fine. It's fine. Hang on, Tim and Sally, where's Craig? You couldn't make it. Well, I'm here. Yeah. <sighs> A boy at school told me that across your life, the average person will swallow eight spiders in their sleep. Mm hmm. Why would a spider go inside someone's mouth? There's no flies in there. Unless you're a frog, which I'm not. <laughs> Although I have kissed a few. Yeah, literally. Took fairy tales a bit too seriously when I was little. Mm. That's nice. No, not really. You thinking about Gary? Must be due in court soon. Yeah, I suppose I am. So you're not going to go? I don't know, Emma. One minute I think I'm going to go, and the next I couldn't care less if he gets sent down for the rest of his life. Do you think I should go? Well, if you still loved him, you won't think twice. Anyway, enough about Gary. What was it you were saying about kissing frogs? Oh, one like this one. Bagged herself a prince, didn't you? Well, what was this? Dinner time. Caught this one having a bit of afternoon delight with Lucas. You know Kyla's ex? <laughs> I, um, I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. Oh, good, cos I want to listen. Tell me everything. Oh, I was, um, I was hoping to keep it quiet. Oh, that's a bit of a letdown. Well, he's a client at work and I don't want things to get awkward. I'd rather nobody knew. Is that okay? I suppose so. <laughs> Maria, um, do you mind not saying anything? Yeah, no, of course. You know, it's funny, I wouldn't have had Lucas pegged as your type. Tyrone and Seb are a bit more rough around the edges, aren't they? Well, isn't um, Lucas everyone's type? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. I better go. Um, please, can we keep this a secret? Sure. I won't breathe a word about you and Lucas. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Did you see him then? Uh, yeah. Well, not him, but I saw his trousers. What time? Um, dinner time, so half twelve. All right. Whew. I'm starving. Yeah. I might nip to the kiosk, see if I can get some it before the doctor comes to or anything. Well, do you know what? I could murder a bag of crisps. Mm, what flavour? See if they've got any of them nice prawn crackers, will you? Prawn crackers aren't crisps. Yes, they are. <laughs> no. Yes, well, all right, what are they, then? <laughs> They're not crisps. Define crisps. <laughs> I don't know. Potato. They've got to be made of potato. Or tortilla chips. No, don't be ridiculous. Aren't they made of corn? Prawn crackers. Crisp. Afternoon, Mr Barlow. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm intimidated, Doctor, by the snack police. Sorry? 
I would ignore him. Sorry, just a daft joke. I'm, I'm not bad, you know. I feel a bit tired. Well, I have some news. It's not bad, is it? Quite the opposite. You've been placed on the transplant list. Yeah. <sighs> Why is it taking so long? Could you both stand, please? Mr. Windus, for perverting the course of justice, I am sentencing you to eight months in custody. However, taking into consideration the time you've spent on remand, you're free to go. Oh, thanks, Your Honour. Good luck. Seems very lenient. Fingers crushed. She'll be out within a year. This is worse than being in the headmaster's office. Miss Windus, you have pleaded guilty to the crime of grievous bodily harm. And the court acknowledges your honesty in making such a plea. And I have taken this into account when deciding your sentence. You have also made a submission that the alleged crimes of a Mr. Raymond Crosby be acknowledged in mitigation. However, Mr. Crosby's trial is ongoing. And as such, he remains innocent in this court's eyes until proven otherwise. That flaming pervert gets away with everything. Furthermore, it remains the case that the victim, Mr. Adam Barlow, was not your intended target and demonstrates how ill-conceived your assault was. This was a reckless and premeditated attack on an innocent man. For this reason, and despite your guilty plea, I feel I have no choice but to hand down the harshest sentence available to the court. Three years in custody. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>